If you want to chat with your images and videos, then Video Lava is your friend. The best thing about this model is that now it is integrated into Transformers library. You can use it locally and privately on your own system. And that is what we are going to do today. We will be installing it and then we will be talking with videos and images at the same time. Before we do that, let me give you a very quick overview of this amazing model. Video Lava is an open source multimodal LLM trained by fine tuning Lama Vicuna on multimodal instruction following data generated by Lava 1.5 and Video Chat. It is an auto regressive language model based on the transformer architecture. Video Lava unifies visual representations to the language feature space and enables an LLM to perform visual reasoning capabilities on both images and videos simultaneously, which means at the same time. There is a huge background to it. There is a paper, there is a thorough research, and I believe I already have covered bits of it in my previous video, the paper I mean. So I would highly suggest you read through it, a real treat to read this weekend, I must tell you. I will drop the link to this model in video's description. Now, having said that, one thing I wanted to tell you about the training data set is that the images pre-training data set is from Lava and also the images tuning data set is from Lava. The video pre-training data set is from Valley and Video Chat GPT. So that is why the quality of a model goes a lot of nauseous up. Okay, so that is a bit of a uh, background of this model if you want to visually see its architecture so you see in this example we have given it a video and image of statue of liberty and then when the question is being asked about this it is taking both into account for images and video so you see when the question was asked are the image and the video depict depicting the same place the answer is give, being given at the top that yes the image and video are depicting the same place the video sh shows the Statue of Liberty from different angles, while the image show a close-up of the statue. How good is that? And then it has given some uh, narration of that video and image too. So let's go to my local system and then we will try to get it installed. So this is my local Ubuntu system where I am running uh, one GPU of 22 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. The first thing we need to do is to install some of the prerequisites. Just for the sake of completion, let me update my system. It is always a good idea to do so that everything is up to date and nice and clean. You don't take too long. I'll just press capital Y here. And it is going to do very, very soon. It is almost done and you just press enter here and should be good. Now let me clear the screen. As a first prerequisite, let's make sure that we have FFM peg installed. That is done. Let me clear the screen. Now I will be installing um, or creating virtual environment through Conda, which will keep everything nice and simple. If you don't have Conda, please install this Conda. The latest one would be good. It will keep everything clear and it won't impact your local host operating system libraries. I already have installed. If you don't know how to install it, I have already done a separate video on it. So I'm going to create a Conda or mini Conda virtual environment, whatever your system specs are. So let's wait for it. It should just press Y here again. And that should be done so let's activate this video lava and you can give it any name of course and you see that now it is activated as shown in this parenthesis on the left let me clear the screen there are few libraries which we need to install such as pillow so let's install the pillow that is done let's make sure that we have latest transformers library let's upgrade it yep so we needed to upgrade it so it was using the old one Let's wait for it. Did it take too long? That is done. Let's also install Hugging Face Hub. And that should be quick too. 
and now make sure that we have AV installed which is a Pythonic binding with FFM peg library and that is also done let me clear the screen let me launch my python interpreter and now let's import the libraries which we have just installed so i have inst imported below request and then there are few more all the libraries are imported as you can see and now let's define a function which is going to read the video file and it's a simple generic video function which loops through the frame of the video and then returns us the result that is done let's specify our model which is the model 7 billion one which i just showed you video lava 7 billion from hugging face and it is going to download the model first and then it will load the shards on our gpu so let's wait for it to finish downloading the model last shard is being downloaded and now it is loading the shards onto my gpu hopefully it should be good it's just a 7 billion parameter model so gpu should be able to sustain it and that is done thankfully now in the next step we need to specify our video processor so that is so this is a new processor from hugging face which combines the tokenizer and the video processor and you see so it has downloaded the tokenizer too so it says that we need to install the uh, sentence piece so we just need to exit from here so it's a brand new one so these things are expected so let me quickly install the sentence piece and then we will resume it that is done let me clear the screen and then resume the lava processor by going into my python interpreter and then i'm going to just import everything back it shouldn't take too long because it's already in the memory processor is initialized now before i go further let me quickly show you the video which i am going to process with it and that video is also from hugging face that is just a sample video i'm going to play it it is just a sample video from their page okay so i'm going to also download this so let me go back to terminal first up let's specify a prompt so i will be asking it why this video is funny and then this is just a prompt template with user is for us and assistant is for the model and i'll be using hugging hugging face hub download function from that hugging face hub library in order to download this video you can simply specify your own video path if you like if you have it on local the video is downloaded it's a very small one let's put it in the container with that av library which we opened that is done and now we need to sample um, some of the frames from the video uniformly so that we understand it so we have generated the frames clip by clip and have stored it in the clip with this read video by av function let's generate the um, input with the help of that text we are using which we specified here as we are asking it here in this prompt why is this video funny and this is our video clip by clip which is having frame and then we are asking it to return us by torch tensor and that is done you can ignore this warning it is just telling us that it is quite slow but that is fine and now let's generate the output from the model and that is going to take slightly few seconds because model is processing it and there you go the model has responded that the image is funny and it has tried to describe bit of some of the frames which we picked out that baby is wearing glasses and reading the book and all that stuff so amazing stuff i will um, drop the link to its model card in video description play around with it let me know what do you think also i will drop the whole code which i have used in my blog and i'll drop the link in video description that's it i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching